guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Today I'm actually going to be doing a video that I'm excited about because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I just haven't had the chance to do so. I'm going to be doing the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kits metal matte lipsticks and all the three glosses that she has i'm going to be doing my personal review my experience and also lip swatches of course Bleh. um if you want to know what i'm actually wearing on my lips right now i'm wearing candy k lip liner with coco k liquid lipstick candy k coco k are definitely by far my favorites i will let you know right now i will insert if you just want to see the lip swatches i will tell you down in the description bar where you can go ahead and scroll over because my last lip swatch video i guess people wanted to just see the lip swatches they didn't want to review i mean i would personally want to review if i want to see lip swatches just saying but if you just want to see the liquid lipstick swatches glosses and all that stuff i will hook you up girl down below so just peep that information anyways Let's get started with the review. First of all, for experience with Kylie Cosmetics, shipping has actually not been that bad. Shipping price is ridiculous. Personally, just for me, especially for just ordering one product, I think it's like about $8. It's a little ridiculous, especially because you're getting USPS. So girl, you're ripping our assholes with that one. I'm just sorry, I have to say that. It did have a discrepancy with them where I accidentally ordered two Coco K's in the past. I tried to reach out to their customer service, like, I'm sorry for my cursing but their customer service is complete shit. They suck. That's just my experience, personally. Try to let them know that uh, I had accidentally ordered two, if I can, and this was like right after my order, if I can go ahead and get a refund for you know ordering two on accident, because at this point in time when they were selling, they were literally selling out in seconds, and I just, I didn't need two Coco K's, and they were just like, yeah, sorry, no refunds, and I'm like, but this is not like I tried to, you know, it was kind of a pain in the butt. I don't think they're all about their customers, just in my opinion. I believe that you have to just really make a big, huge thing, like on social media, where there's a bunch of people complaining in order for them to make any type of change or to notice anything in order to accommodate the customer. Um, and I just personally don't like that. I have heard very little reviews of people saying they've had great customer service personally for me. And from what I hear from most of the audience is that their customer service sucks. That's just my opinion, okay? As far as the liquid lipsticks, I will tell you my review with that. It's definitely, I will say, is I'm highly impressed with her lip kits. I think that they're amazing. The lip pencils are amazing. I literally probably wear a candy cane majority of the time if I do go to work and I can put it on from 7 in the morning and then not until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is with eating lunch and everything. I will notice that it barely starts coming off. This is, you guys know Stila All Day Liquid Lipsticks are definitely by far my holy grail faves. It's like competition is right there it's like right there and Stila liquid lipsticks I think they're about 20 to 22 dollars this is 30 bucks and you're getting a lip pencil a lot of people complain about the pricing oh my god it's 30 dollars for a liquid for a lip kit like girl you're getting a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick so I think that's pretty much around the average price besides ColourPop and some of the affordable affordable drugstore brands, you're gonna be paying around 20 bucks for a liquid lipstick. So that's pretty much somewhere between the same price bracket and lip pencils usually cost 15 bucks. Anyways, as far as the formula, the lip kits, I think that they're amazing. I haven't gotten any of the bright shades. I just personally don't need them. This is something that I would actually use all the colors that I have purchased. Um, as far as the experience with the Metal Matte lipstick, this doesn't dry like a liquid lipstick. Like I noticed it's more of a moussey texture and it stays that way on your lips. It takes a long time for it to dry. And I would definitely recommend this as a topper on top of lipsticks unless you just like the product like that alone. But it doesn't have like a full on pigmentation like the lip kits. Now as far as the glosses, they are amazing. Personally for me, they are not my type of tone. I rarely ever use the glosses, but they are definitely high quality, super pigmented, very creamy and smooth, and thank God she fixed the applicators, let's just say. So other than that, I'm gonna quit rambling. If you guys wanna stay tuned to watch the liquid lipstick swatches, lip glosses, and the matte metal lipstick, let's get to it right now. 
Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Please comment down below if you have any questions, comments, anything like that. And if you're new to my channel, what's up, welcome. I hope you subscribe and remember to click that like button if you like this video. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Trust, yeah. No, I don't wanna waste what's left.